Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bogotta and I'm here with a Guild Wars 2 gold making quickie. Now you might have heard about the champion farming route in Frostgorge, but I'm here to show you how it actually works in case you're a little bit nervous getting your feet wet in there. People can be a little bit uh, hard to get advice from in, in the thick of things when they're out there trying to get those champion bags for themselves. So I thought I'd do a very quick video showing you how to uh, get the most out of doing this run. The goal of this run is to actually kill six champions in a circuit, and uh, you're going to get six champion loot bags as a result. Now, sometimes this will take five minutes, sometimes it'll take up to ten minutes, depending on the spawn times of the champions. Now, on the first couple times you do this, you're probably not going to get six. You're probably going to get three or four, and as you get practice and kind of learn the route, then you're going to actually get the full six, and that's kind of the point of this guide, is how do you how do you get all of them in a run? Because you have to be quick about it. You'll have to pay attention, and it also is a good idea to equip abilities and weapons that give you some sort of movement advantage and swiftness. Your journey begins in the top left corner of the Frost Gorge Sound map, and those with edumacations out there might call it the Northwest area. You're going to start at the Drakkar Waypoint, and the first one's going to spawn in the water here, and that is called the Fish, the Champion Fish. After the fish is dead, you're going to head down to the Drakkar Spurs area. That's where you'll meet the champion, Kodan. He spawns right here where I'm circling, but he can also wander all the way out to the east over here. So sometimes they'll check over there first. The third one is the Norn. It'll be down in this area. And then you're going to waypoint to Demotiki Waypoint here and go underwater to get the champion worm. I really like saying Demotiki. Demotiki, Demotiki! Right, after that, you're going to come down here to the Sky Heights Steading Waypoint all the way in the south. You're going to head north and get the Ice Drake Broodmother right there. And then the final stop of our path is going to be all the way here in the east, the Earthshake Waypoint. Then you're going to head west. You're going to do a little jump here, and then you're going to hit the Champion Troll. So let's take a look at what this whole thing looks like. Okay, so we have the fish spawned. I also want to mention that it's helpful to be in a group during this because sometimes, I mean, the whole trick, the reason why you miss these bags is because you didn't do enough damage. You didn't get there in time to do damage to the champion. Well, having a party kind of helps that a little bit. If you just get one hit in, but the rest of your party members are actually busy grabbing it, then, uh, then it helps you get the loot. So after you beat the fish, you're immediately going to run up on shore here, and you're going to head toward uh, the east. You're going to jump up. On this ice flow, and then we're looking for the Kodan. Now, he spawns right here where I am, but we also check out in the middle of uh, the lake here. Just because sometimes he wanders over here like a big dork. And uh, after you check this area out, you usually run back to the spawn point and wait for him to come. Now this beginning section of the path is actually the slower pace section. You can usually get the first three pretty easy. It's when the you start waypointing after the third one that things get a little bit hairy. If you have uh, heavy loading times on your loading screens, then you might have a problem uh, getting the last three in the path. Uh, an SSD hard drive really helps with this. Um, and you got to have your movement skills ready and, and be on your toes. Okay, the Kodan has arrived, and we're going to make quick work of him. And I'm going to be ready to uh, to hit some movement-based skills uh, right after this guy goes down. Because um, we want to be in the front while we're heading over to the uh, the Norn over here. So we're going to just curve around. You ignore the monsters. Try not to get hit any of them on accident with any kind of ability, because that will slow you down if you're in combat. And the Kodan is our... I'm sorry, the Norn is already spawned. So we're, we're just going to jump all over him and get another champion bag. Now, as soon as he's done, we're going to waypoint. We're going to loot, and then hit M, and we're going to go down to Demotiki, Demotiki. All right, and you're immediately going to jump in the water and uh, try to get down to the uh, the little the ice wind. worm guy down there. Thing. Ice worm guy thing. See, I'm using my number five skill on my spear to, to dive down quicker. This is one of the harder ones to get. Some people just skip it and go on to, and they wait at the, the next waypoint. That's fine, too, if you don't want to get down in the water. Um, you can see I have him targeted, getting some shots in before he goes down. And then you want to be near the body right as it goes down so you can loot. You don't want to have to swim down and loot it. So you grab the loot, and immediately I'm going to go and teleport down to the south here. This is the sky height, steading waypoint. You can see my loading screens here. This, this definitely will impact you um, as it's impacting me right now. Come on! All right. <laughs> this is uh, where the worm... I'm uh, sorry, the Drake Broodmother is. Okay. 
Okay, now over here on the, the left, there is a, a way you can climb up. A lot of times it's easier to go up the mountain over on this side so you can jump down on this platform where the Drake is usually is. Sometimes people are nice and actually drag the Broodmother off of this platform, but that doesn't always happen. Niceness does not always happen. All right, we loot this, and then we're going to go to our final waypoint, the Earthshake waypoint over here, and there is a jump you have to do. Now, it's not impossible to kill the troll if you miss the jump. You just have to keep running. I usually run to the right if I miss the jump. And you can get there as long as you don't aggro many creatures. But it's a lot better and a lot easier and a lot less stressful if you don't miss this jump. So try to have some sort of speed boost here as you do the jump. Like that. And uh, now we're well on our way to the champion troll. Now after the troll dies, there is a little chest here that you can get once a day. Uh, to get some more like imperial shards or whatnot. Um... That could slow you down. If the fish is already spawned back at the beginning, then you might miss out on the fish by getting the chest. But it's usually worth grabbing at least once during the, each day. So, uh, yeah, we're going to kill this troll, and that's how you get the sick. And after you uh, killed the troll, then just waypoint back to the top left, northwest waypoint, and uh, get ready to get the fish, and the whole loop starts over again. Uh, thanks so much for watching. That's going to wrap everything up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments field below. Smash that like button for me. That really helps me out, guys. It helps the video get searched more often. And also, if you favor it, the same thing kind of happens. Um, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what I do. That way you get a notification every time I put out a new video. And that's just awesome sauce. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Dimotiki, Dimotiki.